If I had to start my career off in IT from zero today, here's exactly what I'll do to stack the skills I need so I don't waste time guessing. If you're wondering where to start off with hardware, jump into networking, or straight into cybersecurity, this video breaks down on what each path actually teaches, how they connect in the real world, a clear roadmap you can start this week. By the end, you will know how to study first, what labs to build, and which entry-level certifications pair with each stage. Hardware is the foundation of everything else in IT. Think of it as the learning anatomy of a computer so every later problem makes sense. You will learn the key components such as the CPU, the RAM, and storage devices like HDDs, SSDs, motherboard chipsets, power supplies, graphic cards, and cooling solutions. You will also learn how a system actually starts up by exploring BIOS or when to reset the CMOS if the system will not post. You will practice installing operating systems by creating a bootable USB, choosing between the clean install and upgrade, loading the right drivers, and performing first boot health checks. You will build a troubleshooting habit where you define the problem, test one change at a time, confirm the fix, and document what you did so you can repeat it later. To make this real, build or refurbish a PC, swap the ROM, add an SSD, and replace the thermal paste. Set up a virtual box and create both Windows and Lindex virtual machine because these VMs will come your practice environment for networking and security later. This stage is matters most because many so-called network or security tickets are actually hardware, driver, and operating system issues at their core. If you understand the physical layer, you will troubleshoot faster and more accurately. If you want a credential at this stage, the CompTIA A plus pairs nicely with what you're learning. It can open up help desk or desktop support roles. Once you understand a single machine, it is time to learn how machines talk to each other. Networking is a set of roads, traffic rules for data. You will learn the OSI model so you can think of the physical layer up to the application layer. You will understand the difference between the IPv4 and IPv6 when to use the TCP versus UDP. You'll understand how ports, services work, and how addressing is assigned and managed with DHCP. You will see how DNS translates names into IP addresses so users do not have to memorize numbers when going on to the public internet. You will learn the roles of switches and routers where switches connect devices inside of one network and routers connect different networks together. You will practice segmenting traffic with VLANs for better performance and security. You will also cover wireless basics such as the difference between a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi standards channel interface. For hands-on practice, you will run core commands like IP config or IF config ping, tracer, or trace route, and NS lookup, or did. You will open up Wireshark and capture traffic filter from DNS or HTTP, and watch a web request move across the network in real time. You can build network topologies in Packet Tracer, a modest home lab with a budget router, a managed switch, and a couple of virtual machines gives you everything you need. This stage is essentially because every cloud security DevOps job assumes you understand networking. If you want a credential here, the CCNA gives strong routing and switching skills. Cybersecurity is a proactive layer that sits on top of hardware and networking. At this stage, you are defending real systems and real data. You will learn the CI track confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and you will use the principle of at least privilege to restrict access to exactly what is needed. You will apply preventive controls like strong password policies, multi-factor authentication, full disk encryption, regular patching, and endpoint hardening. And you will read Windows Event Viewer and Linux logs so you can answer what happened, when it happened, who was affected. You will study the early threats you will see in the field, including phishing, malware, ransomware, exposed remote desktop, and misconfig cloud storage. You will build a safe lab in virtual machines with a Windows server and a Linux box, generate events, and practice alert triage. You will try basic vulnerability management by scanning your own lab, applying a fix, and a verify their mediation with the rescan. This stage matters because companies do not just need tools. They need people who understand the system, what they are protecting. If you want a credential here, Ethical Hacker validates your fundamentals. Here is a simple 90-day roadmap you can start today. In days 1 through 30, focus on hardware. Build a refurbished PC and install both Windows and Linux virtual machine and document three real fixes you perform. If certifications help your goals, study the A+, objectives, and schedule your exam when you're ready. In days 
31 through 60, move it to networking. Complete a small home lab or use packet tracer to practice IP addressing, VLANs, NAT, and DNS. Capture traffic in Wireshark. Explain what you're seeing in plain English. If networking feels like your lane, begin CCNA Labs. In days 61 through 90, add cybersecurity on top. Secure your lab with MFA, set group policies, turn on your SIM, and practice internet triage. Study the Security Plus objectives and create a one-page security baseline checklist you can apply at any small business. By the end of 90 days, you will have the deliverables you can show employers. A PC built log with screenshots, a network diagram configurations and a short security baseline with proof that you tested it. All of this is going to be your portfolio to add on your resume so you can apply to jobs. Though you don't have any work experience, projects also put you out there to sell yourself to get inside the door into IT. If you found this video helpful, make sure you comment. If you like the video and you share it with someone that wants to get into information technology. I'll see you guys in the next one.